Good evening to everybody. Well, after this amazing weekend where I have finished another group of the Career Orto International Program, this international program that I have where I teach doctors from all over the world how to work with Invisalign. Well, it has been really exciting. Uh, it's uh, well amazing the, the feeling and the feedback of all the doctors. And of course, thank you very much for your big effort. And now I can see that you are going to have a really pro promising future. You will see. Now, as I told you yesterday, my recommendation is try to look for a new patient to treat with Invisalign from tomorrow. And I'm sure that applying all the things that I have teach you all these days, you're going to succeed. You will see. Well, I want to show you a complex case, uh, a difficult class to malocclusion that I treated only with Invisalign. And this is the, the girl when she came to my office and we want to move from here to this, be this beautiful result where I'm going to look for a good occlusion, a good class one occlusion, and also a beautiful balance between the mouth and the, and the face. And I want to improve also the, the health of the, of the gums. When she came to my office, this is the situation at the beginning. Well, you can see here uh, different problems. Uh, unilateral class two here in the right side. You can see here, can you see here where is the canine, the class two malocclusion in premolars and in molars, and the midline deviation here in this between upper and lower midline. And look at the, uh, the lack of space of this canine. We have, we have to think why we have this problem here. And also one of the, the thing that I have to consider and I have to, to put all my effort when I do the planification, we have to look the big recession that we have here in the, in the canines and premolars. So I have to, to be really careful when I do my planification because I, I need to give beautiful uh, occlusion, good occlusion, but also I have to keep in health this, this gum. Okay, this is the real class two situation. We, we see the perpendicular view. You can see here, look how, how severe is the class two in the right side. And of course, look at the lack of space that I have of this, this cannon. We have severe class two, we don't have overjet. You know that the overjet is really necessary to solve the, the class two and at the beginning we don't have, and we have a, a, a severe period, periodontal recession. Well, this view is for me, the, those one who know me, that for me the most important thing is how is the shape of the upper arc. And it's really important to imagine what is the ideal shape of the upper arc that I need in order to align everything and then coordinate with the lower arc. You can see here that all this right side is messialized if we compare with the, with the left side. The X-ray where, well, we have to see how are the upper window molar because depend on the biomechanics of treatment that we are going to use, we have to extract or not the upper window molar. Well, this is the profile where well, you can see a big tension in the lips because we have upper and lower proclination of the, of the incisors. And we find in this case, we have a skeletal class two, uh, the upper and lower incisors are they are proclined and the pattern is is, is is like a horizontal pattern of the on the mandible okay this is one thing that i like to to say always to the doctors who come to my courses we have the big ability and the big opportunity to think before doing things so the best thing that i you know i i say to everybody when you have to a difficult case in front of you is take time, take time with the pictures, take time with the x-rays, take time doing your treatment plan before starting the case, okay? Well, we have here, this is the asymmetric arc that we have at the beginning, and we need to, well, we can see that we have a proclined uh, canine that we need to retrocline and extrude at the end. We have to procline a little bit these uh, incisors, where well, we have to change the torque and the rotation of the molars. So we have to move from here with this asymmetric arc to this final position. So we have to move from here to here, where we have to, to, to achieve 
the same result that we have planified, we have to check at the end. So we are going to see how we do it. Different options. Someone of you can think that we can do it with extractions, with expansion and proclination, or just doing more distillation. In this case, to decide what I look is, I look uh, to the molars and I see that the right molar is mesialized if we compare with the, with the left one. So if this one is mesialized, what we have to do is distalize this thing in order to make a symmetric arc and doing that, I'm going to obtain the space to align the right cannon. Look, if we see this contact point and look at where is the contact point, we have about three millimeters of mesialization of this right side. So this is the final movement that we have to do. So we have to distalize all these things. And well, this is what we do. Also, we need to control from the beginning to the end. We need to control the lower incisional proclination because we have a class two and we need over jet. And well, this is a joke that I do and think about why you do the things instead of how to do it. Of course, it's really important to understand and to learn how to do things. But before all these things, you understand why you are doing what you are doing. So if in this case, I decide to do the stylization because I had a, a misalization of all this right side. So I need to recover doing digitalization and with this recovering the space, I will create the space to solve the class two and also to put the cannon in the arc, okay? So IPR in the lower arc to move from here to here, okay? To create the overjet. We need also some extrusion of this cannon it's a difficult moment, but of course we have to think when is the moment to do the extrusion. If you try to do the extrusion if, and if you don't, you don't have the space, you're going to fail. So remember that first you have to create the space. In this case, we're going to create the space with the digitalization. And after that, boom, you move the cannon, okay? So we are starting with the digitalization. Every, uh, every four aligners, we create, look, we create the space with the second molar and first molar. Then more spaces we are creating. We haven't moved yet this cannon. And now I put a mini implant. I use it as anchorage. Look, I create these spaces and I'm going to start using a class one elastic that is going to help me to move to this situation. The class one is solved, the kindness is inside the arc. Now I'm still on treatment, but look how I increase the anchorage with the, with the mini screw. And I use all these anchorage to rotate the upper arc and to solve and to obtain a class one. This is the evolution with the mini screw here. And at the end, after a lot of hours of planification and work with the chair, with all my staff, everybody working with sense having in the mind from the beginning all the things that we have planned and at the end well my when i say we have succeeded with this case because we have developed a good arc shape we have used class 2 digitalization assisted by the mini screws and we have controlled the lower incisor to move from this initial situation to this beautiful final situation where we have this beautiful class one in both sides. We center the midline with overjet, with, with everything. Now it's time to change these old amalgams that we are planning now to change for on lights. This, we move from this initial situation to these beautiful arcs, upper and lower, coordinated. And of course, if we give balance in the occlusion, we obtain this beautiful uh, smiles in our patients. Okay, this is the final result, final result, final result with a balance between hard tissue and soft tissue that give us this beautiful smile. And you can compare the amazing chance. 
So I hope you learn a few things in, with this case. I'm really happy to share it with you. Of course, make me your comments, leave me all the comments that you need. And of course, you can write me also an email and I'll, I will be really happy to help you with, with your cases. And well, see you with the, really soon with a, another clinical case. Bye bye.